Hi, mathematicians. In this math read aloud, I have a story to read to you and a math challenge problem for you to solve after the story. This story is called Counting Crocodiles. It is written by Judy Sierra and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Counting Crocodiles. Counting Crocodiles. On an island in the middle of the Syllabobble Sea lived a clever little monkey in a sour lemon tree. She ate lemons boiled and fried, steamed, sautéed, pureed, and dried. She ate lemons till she cried, I'm all puckered up inside. Then across that sea so wide, a banana tree she spied. How delectable, she sighed. I would love to take a trip across the Syllabobble Sea and carry back a stack of sweet bananas from that tree. The Syllabobble crocodiles thought they were truly cool, and they looked upon those waters as their private swimming pool. They appeared to be quite vicious, feasting fearlessly on fishes. But the monkey was suspicious, and the bananas looked delicious. So she climbed atop her tree and cried, I wonder, are there more crocodiles in the sea or monkeys on the shore? One crusty croc who chanced to hear her snorted, It could not be clearer that lurking just below the waves are crocodiles galore. Why, head to tail, we'd reach across the sea, the reptile roared. With those words, he disappeared into the dark and salty sea and brought back his entire crocodilian family. Just look at us. I have a hunch you've never seen a bigger bunch. Later be our guest for lunch. We're all lined up and waiting, monkey. Will you count us, please? She counted one crocodile with a great big smile. Two crocs resting on rocks. Three crocs rocking in a box. Four crocs building with blocks. Five crocs tickling a fox. Six crocs with pink mohawks. Seven crocs juggling clocks. Eight crocs in polka dot socks. Nine crocs with chicken pox. And ten crocs dressed like Goldilocks. The crocodiles were dancing and cavorting in the slime. Impatiently they asked, How many of us did you find? With her mouth full of bananas, the monkey scolded. Mind your manners. Line up now, crocodiles. I need to count you one more time. She counted ten crocs dressed like Goldilocks. Nine crocs with chicken pox. Eight crocs in polka dot fox. Seven crocs juggling clocks. Six crocs in pink mohawks. Five crocs tickling a fox. Four crocs building with blocks. Three crocs rocking in a box. Two crocs resting on rocks. And one crocodile with a great big smile. As the monkey jumped ashore and scurried up her lemon tree, the crocodiles below cried out, How many then are we? Tell us now, the crocs all howled. Just enough, the monkey scowled. Just enough to make a bridge across the syllabobble sea, but not enough to catch a clever monkey like me. That's silly monkey. Okay, here's your math challenge. How many crocodiles were there all together? 
Remember, there was one crocodile with a great big smile, two crocs resting on rocks, three crocs rocking in a box, four crocs building with blocks, five crocs tickling a fox, six crocs with pink mohawks, seven crocs juggling clocks, eight crocs with polka dot socks, nine crocs with chicken pox, and 10 crocs dressed like Goldilocks. Before you try to solve the problem, I have a few things for you to think about. First, how will you organize your work? There are a lot of numbers that you need to think about. How will you get organized to make sure that you're not confused in your math thinking? Second, how can you add efficiently? Are there friendly numbers that you could put together first? Thinking about that ahead of time might help you be a little bit more efficient with your strategy. All right, I can't wait for you to solve this challenge problem. Thanks so much for listening.